So today I'm going to be teaching you how to get this stack of dimes look when TIG welding regular steel. Uh, this is a technique that a bunch of my buddies use for building trophy trucks, buggies, suspension. All the off-road uh, guys really seem to like this style of welding. So stick around, let's get to it. So I'm not doing anything fancy. It's just regular 2T mode because we're using the foot pedal. High frequencies on, no pulse. 150 amps. So in this video we're going to be using some um, welding coupons from Weld Metals Online. These are cold rolled steel. It's eighth inch thick. And then we're going to be using their filler metal. This we're going to be starting out with 045 thick ER70S2 filler wire. And then after we run our root pass with that, we're going to be running our cover or cap pass with 1 16th inch uh, ER70S2 wire. I've got the machine set to 150 amps. Uh, when I'm tacking, I might use all that. I'm not sure. I just usually have my machine set real high and just use my foot to adjust the amperage. So this is how I tack outside corners. I um, put one edge on, slide it over until it's corner to corner on the outside. Then just come almost dead onto it. Give it a burst. I guess I did use full amperage, so 150 amps for that. Then just straighten it out, get it in place. Same thing. Now, the only reason I have this um, cup on is so I can get this long extension to get down there because you guys aren't going to be able to see it if I've got like a number seven cup and a short stick out. But if I'm running this, you should be able to see it. So when you run your root pass, you're using the thin wire. And all you're doing is trying to get a consistent speed and usually pretty dang fast because the more, the more heat you put into a part, the um, more strength it loses. So since we're doing a root pass and then a cap, we want the least amount of heat into it as possible, so we're going to run our root real fast. Let the part cool completely. You'll have way better success if you just let it sit. Let it cool down. So I have my machine set to 150 amps, but when I'm running my root pass, I'm probably going to be more like 100 to, um, I don't even think 120. But I like having all the power there, plus I'm lazy, and it seems like especially at work. I don't want to crawl out from underneath the boat over the outside of the boat down to the welder, adjust my amperage, go climb all the way back in, get my stuff on, start welding, go to the next one and repeat. So I've always set my machines, usually when I'm welding aluminum, as high as it'll go and just adjust the foot pedal. With steel, I usually just do an extra 40 or 50 amps than what I'm gonna need. So you can see the haze line didn't travel too far, and that's because I was moving as fast as I could. You can see at the start it's a little wider because it usually takes me a second to get my puddle how I like it before I start moving. And when I'm going, I'm actually shoving the filler in there. Um, on eighth inch, you don't need to that much, especially when you're gonna come over and cap it. But if you're doing 3 sixteenths or even 1 60, uh, really push that in there as you go and try to get it pretty even 
Uh, you can kind of make up for it when you do your cap, but it's a little easier if you do it, if you fill it evenly. Now we're just going to let that sit and cool. Now at this point, normally I would um, either hit this with a wire brush or some type of scotch Bright pad. Just uh, make sure if you use scotch Bright pad, you really clean it and there isn't anything for it to get into. So like an open joint, like the normal outside corner joint, if you hit that with a scotch Bright or a scotch Bright pad, it's going to embed everything into the actual joint. So your first weld is going to be contaminated. But it seems like afterwards, after your first weld's done, it works pretty good. It's nice and cool. I'm going to use 1 16th inch and I'm going to be pedal bumping. And what pedal bumping is, is basically you're almost maxing out the pedal uh, to get the size of the bead that you want. So you're pushing down until it's as wide as you want, which will be covering over this edge and this edge for me. And then you're going to be, as you're pushing on that pedal, adding it in, adding the filler in until it crowns up as high as you'd like. And when you're pushing the pedal down, it's not a slow ramp up, it's a quick. So once you get your first one going and you feel where it's at with your pedal, and how wide it is, you kind of try to remember that with your foot. So it's like um, a constant You're going to the same spot each time and as you go, you're probably going to have to add less and less foot pedal each time. And when you're lifting off the pedal, you're not stopping so it's not making tacks every time. It's basically making the um, puddle probably about half of this size right now. So a real small weld pool will keep going and then you'll hit it, bump it, and on outside corners I go from where the edge of the circle is. So say right here's the circle. So right there's the edge. Then when I let off and move forward I'm gonna start right at that point. The next ripple will end right here. I'll let off, move forward, and it's a real quick, so you're not in the heat too much. So it helps control the heat a little bit, makes a nice st stack of dimes and it's real consistent. It's a little easier to use once you've gotten used to it than just pulse, because pulse is set so you can't adjust as you go. So if you need to speed up, pulse will stay the same. If you need to slow down, pulse is going to be too fast. Um, so. And plus if you're in like a weird joint where you got to do something funky, trying to stay completely consistent the whole time is kind of a pain in the butt. Alright guys, that does it for today's video. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, hit that thumbs up, give me a like. Um, if you have any questions about this technique, just put them in the comments below. I'm trying really hard to answer them, but we're remodeling our new house, so I haven't had much time to make videos or uh, reach back out to you guys, so I apologize for that. Um, if you're new, subscribe, that way you can watch more of these videos as they come out. You guys have a good one.